Yo, what is up guys? It is Bumfries, back with another episode of Choosing Beggars. Today's episode is going to be an absolute banger, and I know you're gonna love this one. Before we get into the video, now's your chance to earn some Bumfries points. If you smash the like button on the video today, you will get 7,212 Bumfries points. They are completely useless, but hey, they sound cool, right? Once you've done that, just sit back, relax, and get annoyed at some Choosing Beggars. Do y'all want to give me a discount code so I can purchase my blanket and get started on my elephant journey? No problem. Use code elephant journey for $30 off. Just a thought, team. Cause I'm pregnant and $120 is still expensive for me. Do y'all want to pitch in for a GoFundMe to help me get all this set up? I already have an elephant. I just need to get to it. Here's my GoFundMe for my elephant journey. How does one even begin to discuss something as ridiculous and absurd as this? Like, surely you're having people on and just trying to get a laugh out of people. Like, I don't know, the company actually did a pretty good thing and gave her a discount code. They obviously didn't have to do that and I thought it was a pretty nice thing for them to do. Any normal person who was committed to buying something probably would have just been happy with that. But as we know with choosing beggars, enough is never enough and they always like to ask for some of the most ridiculous things in the world. Like, for example, an entire thing for free via a GoFundMe. $250 is too expensive. And your point is... I never work. I'm a student. Allowance never rely from parents. Money is hard to find or nor earn. Facing difficulties cannot take transport fee. Facing difficulties to pay mailing postage fee. $50 for this item. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I got transported into some parallel universe where this absolute gibberish makes sense because what on earth just happened? I don't even know if this person is a choosing beggar because quite frankly, I have no idea what they just said. All I know is they said something's too expensive and they offered them a fifth of the price and to me, that's enough to make someone a choosing beggar. At my bar, working on the bar, who can help for free? I'm guessing no one will, but if I said $20 an hour, then all of my so-called friends would be here. Is this dude implying that people will work for money, but they won't work for free? Because if he is, that is an absolutely crazy concept that I've never heard of before. I just cannot imagine a world where people would actually ask for compensation in return for work. What kind of sick, twisted, backwards society are we living in where people actually want to be paid for what they do? I feel like it goes without saying, but that's obviously sarcasm. But hey, give me a roast in the comments anyway. I probably deserve it for something else. Hi there. I saw your post and I'm interested in commissioning you for a portrait of my daughter's cat. He just passed away and she is extremely heartbroken. She is nine and I want to cheer her up. How do we start? Hi there. I'm sorry to hear about the passing of your pet. I'd love to do a commission for you though. Do you have any pictures of the cat? And do you know what color background you'd like or any details you'd like to include? I'd like the vibrant style that you have on your website. I was wondering if you could lower the price. I'm thinking about getting two. Actually, I'm running a deal currently and you can get the second piece for 45% off. You can't go any lower? This will make my daughter so happy, but cannot afford to spend this much on art. What's your budget? I know a few artists from China and India who can do each for $5. I'm not looking to pay more than $30 for digital art. Sorry, can't do that low. Why aren't you even trying to negotiate? You've said that you found artists who are giving you an incredible deal and I can't match their prices. You can go ahead and hire them. You are not needy enough then, because if you were, you would take the $30, you greedy US artist. There are so many better artists from China and India who can actually do artwork 10 times better for $5. You are a disgrace. This is why I don't support US artists. You people think that you guys are better than everybody else. Now I'm offering you $20 and a Yelp review. As how things are in the US, you will be coming back and begging me. You will need my $20. You'll regret not working for cheap in times of crisis. You'll see that my $20 would have been enough for you. I'll gladly give $5 to an Indian artist anyway. Of all the ways that I've seen people deal with choosing beggars, honestly, this is probably one of the best ways that I've seen from an artist at least. I mean, straight up just declining their offer and telling them to go to the person that they're claiming will do their art for five or $10 is actually the best way that I can think of to treat somebody who is lowballing you with no good reason. If everyone responded to choosing beggars in the same way, there would be a lot less of them around. All of this stuff is free. Just take what you need. There's not even any sugar there. 
I really, really hope that this is a joke because this person has gone so far out of their way to do such a nice thing and give some pretty basic essentials to some people who might be struggling to find them. And the only thing that this person can do is pick faults on what isn't there as opposed to what is there. If you want to talk about the exact type of choosing beggar not to be, this is the perfect example. I can watch one elementary or middle schooler. I'm able to assist with online learning and I have hands-on experience with elementary students. I'm a 53-year-old grandmother. I have five acres fenced, a pool, and a fishing lake. $50 a day for an eight-hour shift. 50 bucks a day is high for childcare, especially for a kid that can basically take care of themselves and just needs supervision. Lower your price and it might be worth it for someone. I don't know where this person's from, but I thought I'd take a second just to see how much childcare was around me. And from what I can see, for a center-based childcare, you're looking at between 70 and $185 a day, for a family daycare between $6 and $17 per hour, and if you want a nanny, it's somewhere between $15 and $35 per hour. Now I know this varies in different places, but $50 seems pretty damn cheap regardless of which way you look at it. I mean, not that it really matters, because it doesn't even seem like this person is interested in the childcare. They just commented with the intention of showing off how much of a choosing beggar they are, and honestly, these come across as some of the most annoying types of choosing beggars that are out there. Hello, I've downloaded the Fit Girls version of AC Origins with all the DLC almost a year ago. I've played this game a lot, but in the last months, I haven't played. This week, I've tried to play a little bit, but my game doesn't launch. The image of the game appears, but then it goes down and the game doesn't start at all. Please, can someone help me? You posted this earlier too. You're complaining about the game that you downloaded illegally to the forum of people who love and support the game and the people behind it. If you want it to work, pay for it, you filthy freeloader. Oh, I'm sorry. If you want, you can buy the game for me so that I can play it without disturbing you. Not everyone has the resources to buy all the games that they love. They prefer to spend their money wisely on the things that we really need, or they buy one game for year when it's on promotion. Now, take care of your own business. Thanks. Now, I'm in no way for people pirating games. Unfortunately, it's just the reality and the way that people will sometimes go about things. In this case, he's pirated the game, whatever. The fact that he's gone to the literal subreddit for people that created the game, however, is absolutely one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. This is pretty much just a big F you right in the developer's face, and I'm sure the guy couldn't even care less. The audacity of them to then go and ask somebody else to buy them the game, however, is just one of the most next level things that I've seen from a choosing beggar. When my husband and I got our first house, I became friendly with our neighbor who had two young children who were two and three. They're now seven and eight years old. Early on, I noticed she was stressed. She was working from early to late and I noticed that she was getting home at like 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. I started to accidentally cook extra food. I'd bring over shepherd's pies, meat pies, fish pies, etc. I'd accidentally have too many steaks or food that was about to go off and this led to the children just having dinner at ours. We recently discovered that our daughter, who was three years old, has a meat allergy, so everything has been swapped to a veggie option. Me and my partner have decided that it will make life a whole lot easier to make this switch with her, and to put it bluntly, I'm not cooking two meals. We usually avoid soya and just do vegetables. Vegetable lasagna, mushroom burgers, etc. Broccoli and kale mac and cheese. Well, my neighbor decided to complain that I was trying to convert her children who now refuse to eat food that she cooks. So, I've stopped cooking for her children. She apologized and has asked me to cook, but she's never appreciated what I've done for her and complaining has just pushed it all over the edge. My husband thinks I'm being an a-hole and that she was just being a concerned parent and clearly feels bad about accepting my charity. This just ties back again with what we see so often with choosing beggars in that getting something for free is always not good enough for them. Like, if you're not happy with something that somebody is giving you for free, just say thank you and politely decline it. If you have a problem with it, that's all that needs to happen. You don't need to try and make changes to it or ask for extra things, just be polite about it. Maybe the husband was right in this case, I don't know. But this is just another trait of choosing beggars that I will never understand. Trying not to complain, but third day in a row that the school gave us the same food. On top of that, dietary restrictions are being met. Who can I call that is at the school? Or email for who's running food prep? I don't know if this is reasonably current or the surrounding circumstances of this, however, if this is in the current climate where a lot of supplies are actually really hard to come by, making a post like this is one of the most selfish things that I've seen so far in this episode. 
Like, believe me, I genuinely understand that it's not ideal that you eat the same thing every day. Personally, I wouldn't like it very much either, but the reality of the situation is that might be all that the school is able to get their hands on. If you have that big of an issue with it, don't buy your food at school and just bring something from home. I'm pretty sure that's what any normal, non-choosing beggar would do. From LA, a couple of local restaurants have added prefix grocery boxes to their delivery menu. This looks close to useless. I literally just said it before, so it doesn't have to be said again, but oh my goodness, people are actually out there struggling, and this kind of thing would do a lot of good for a lot of people, and all you can do is complain. Good on you for continuing to be a part of the problem as opposed to a part of the solution. Can you update us on how it goes, please? She sent me $100. Here's a screenshot. I'm so grateful. The love that I have for this woman. Just a hundred? Choosing beggars yet again complaining about free stuff. I'm so far out of things to say that I just am absolutely lost for words. Hair and bed are 2k in gold each. Everything else is 300g, so it would be 4.6k in gold. Same man, I'm a YouTuber. Great, then you can pay for it with all your YouTube money. Just for future reference, no one cares about the YouTube thing. That's a scam that does not work. I really am. Again, then you can still pay me with gold. You wouldn't be flexing on being a YouTuber if you really were. Man, I can't ever imagine going up to someone and trying to get something out of them by telling them I'm a YouTuber. The only time I would even consider something like this is if I was going to have an ongoing collaboration with somebody where it was like editing or constantly doing thumbnails or something like that, I feel like it would be important for them to know what I do. Otherwise, just treat every interaction like you're a normal person because quite frankly, you are a normal person. You're no better than anyone else because you're a YouTuber and if anyone thinks that's the case, then you're in it for the wrong reasons. By the way, just a quick side note, I cannot find anyone on YouTube by the name of Icy Squad with any kind of success, so this person's obviously a liar and just trying to get stuff for free and or cheap with no reason. Alright everyone, that is that for today's episode of Choosing Beggars. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck around to the very end and you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button and make sure to let me know in the comments below which one of these annoyed you the most. Honestly, today's episode was an absolute riot with some horrible Choosing Beggars, so I cannot pick a specific one, but make sure to let me know which one you thought in the comments below. Otherwise, I don't want to drag this outro out. There is nothing too much that I have to say today. I just do hope that everyone is keeping safe and if anybody does need to stay home for any kind of period of time, I hope that my videos are able to help you get through. Fortunately for myself, I am still working throughout this, but I'm going to try and commit to making a video every single day for the next few weeks at least, so that hopefully you guys have something to look forward to each day. Anyway, I am going to wrap things up there. There will be two videos on your screen right now, one of which I would highly suggest on clicking on and you will not be disappointed. But I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are actually having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for an episode of Entitled Parents. Bye.